Seems like they lost the momentum a little bit in that drive in the final 54 seconds of the first half and just got away in the second half. Yeah, uh, we just got to find a better way to like, wrap up and tackle. Tackling is our big deal right now. We got to bring up feet and uh, we got to make sure that we're taking them all the way to the ground. And then like we got to fix the little things. Like uh, we got minor errors that are affecting us in big ways that we're going to go back to work and fix. I'll ask you then about the two spectacular catches you made the one touchdown you had there. What was the challenge from this defense unit in the Wildcats y'all were facing today offensively? Um, just that they're so well coached and they really don't make mistakes. So we knew that we were going to have to be good on all our small details because they wanna, they're wanna they they weren't going to uh, give us nothing. And what about the adjustments made in the, in the locker room? I have to. One thing you learned in the challenge in the locker room was too. You can tell from big 12 officiating crews about to be a lot more physical and hands grabbing mm -hmm. and touching back in the secondary. Talk about fighting the defender off and being able to control and make the catches there in the secondary. Um, I feel like that um, officials did a good job letting us play, and in the locker room, my coaches just told us to be more physical because we're not don't look for calls. So just going out there and trying to be more physical and just make plays. Vidal is one of the senior leaders of this team now. First of all, after 12 consecutive victories. Conference opener next week, back at home against James Madison. Coaching aside, how did you guys, the leadership of this football team, regroup, get back to practice, and get ready for next Saturday? Well, the first thing we got to do is make sure that we learn from our mistakes from this past week, but look forward to the future. We're going to put it to bed. I mean, like, it sucks uh, with the outcome that we had today, but we, we're going to go back. We're going to look. It's going to be over on Monday, and we're going to be on to like, our next opponent. And I think we have a tight-knit uh, tight group of guys who love each other, and so recovering and regrouping and being focused for next week is not going to be hard for us to do. So what's in their dome area of what happened in 2022 is you saw what happened after that. Yeah, exactly. Same same exact thing. We didn't, uh, early in the season, we had a little, like, ups and downs. But our, we have a team, we have coaches that, that do a great job of making sure that uh, we know that we're, like, appreciated with love. And at the end of the day, we're going to play for each other. Like, that's one of our core values, love. And uh, it's not going to be hard for us to come together and, like, continue to go. Because this, this game doesn't mark us as a team. It doesn't define us and uh, we know that we're, uh, we're going to go back to work and go uh, put the work in to uh, fix it. Chris and Dale, thanks for joining us guys. We'll see you next week back home against James Madison at the Vip. Thank you.